Hello Virgos, so this is your weekly reading. I'm gonna start with the tarot. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so universe, what's the current energy between Virgos and a person that's on Virgo mind for February the 4th to the 11th? So there is the Ace of Swords, okay? So I see communication. Could be a Scorpio wanting to communicate, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini to the universe. The person that's on Virgo mind, who would like to say to Virgo for February the 4th? Ace of Wands, okay. So this could be a newer connection since the Aces keep coming out, or this could just representing them, they want a new start with you. So what they would like to say is that this person is very passionate about you, okay? Universe, the person that's on Virgo mine. This is supposed to be why they keep it hidden. I got the Emperor, the Empress, what? Six of Cups and Nine of Cups. Okay. Usually, sometimes what's keep hidden position is usually associated with something negative, okay? However, I'm not getting that. I feel like this is someone who felt like they can grow old with you. You will be a great wife, husband, a great mother or father, okay? So this is someone who see that they can build with you, okay? Like you are their counterpart, okay? Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, how do they feel about Virgo? Four of Pentacles, yeah, so this is someone who definitely see your value, they're holding on to you, okay? This, this is someone who wants this connection, okay? Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what's their true feelings for Virgo? Two of Pentacles and a Tower. Okay, so something probably have changed. I'm gonna see what it is. Cause their true feelings is like, they may feel like you probably not gonna feel the same way or you're gonna reject them. It's like, they feel like it's a 50-50 shot. Okay, I'm gonna see what that's about. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what is their intentions with Virgo? Queen of Swords, to be very clear and direct with you. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what actions would they take with Virgo? Will of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, so an Eight of Cups. Let me clarify. I got to clarify some positions because I got, it can go, it can have multiple categories for this reading. But what I'm getting is that this person definitely want to build with you, want to be with you. Um, okay, but let me clarify because it could be like they're leaving someone Okay, and I remember Scorpio had a similar reading. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio, this could, um, this could be that category for you guys. Universe card for the Emperor, the Empress, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Universe card for the Emperor, Eight of Wands. Universe card for the Eight of Wands. Universe card for the Eight of Wands, the Death card, and Justice. It can have, yeah, it's multiple categories. Universe card for the Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Hangman. Universe Cup at the Tower and Two of Pentacles. The Chariot and the Two of Swords. Okay. So, with this person, okay, so there's two categories of Virgos, okay? The first Virgo group um, is showing that this is someone that you've met. This is a new person. Um, they're already seeing a future with you, okay? Um, they're ready to be with you, but however, they don't want to express too much where it, it look kind of creepy or it look like it look like they fall in love too quickly, okay? So that's what they're trying to be, you know, conscious of. Now, the second group of Virgos, this is someone um, who probably was in a relationship, even married. They're leaving that person because they want to be with you, okay? Um, and I feel like in this category, too, it can be representing someone from your past who probably had another connection while you guys was broken up. Um, and now they want to really solidify this relationship again. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So I see multiple categories, but for all categories, this person really do see a future with you. They want to build with you, okay? That's what I'm saying. So this person could be a Libra, um, a Taurus, uh, Aries, a Cancer, 
There's some Pisces. They got almost all signs here. Okay. Okay, let's look here. Okay, universe, give me those four cards. Spread the messages so you have four Virgos. Universe, give me a four card spread. Single. Universe, give me three more cards. What messages so do you have for Virgos? The hangman. No matter what happens outside myself, I know that I am safe. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, water. General energy is air. Okay, so yeah. So for the group two Virgos, this is someone who's willing to free themselves from the situation um, to be with you, okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, that part of the connection that they was in was very, like, it was like they was having a new relationship. It was just that they was probably married, but they was living separated. Um, they was living in different homes. Like, I don't feel like that connection was... Um, I don't see like it's like your homeworking. I'm not seeing that. I just see like this is someone who needed a catalyst to make things officially done with someone. Um, and I see like you're kind of like the catalyst. I'm not saying like your homeworker, but it's like they see a future with you. Like they see like this is who I really want to be with and I need to make things look like 100% right. So that's what I'm seeing. So let's see here. Okay, so universe, give me a three card spread of messages you have for Virgos. So there's love, envy, and friendship, relationship. Okay, probably this is someone that you're dating or someone that you kind of friend zone, and it could be because they was in a connection, relationship, or was even still legally married. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, we would like to say to Virgo, pride, universe, surrender, and worry, abundance, pride, worry, surrender, abundance. Universe, clarify worry and surrender, freedom, envy, and happiness. Universe, clarify pride, failure, and loneliness. Okay, so for for this for group two um, Virgos as well, um, where this is someone from your past, probably they did have a lot of ego. Okay, but probably they're in another connection, but they still feel alone. And that's what I'm getting. I don't feel like they're in a real relationship. Um, it's it's like really it's like a major disconnect. Um, that's what I'm saying. So that's what they would like to say. Um, but they see their happiness with you. Um, they might be very possessive, okay? Okay, let's look here. Okay, that car wouldn't come out. <laughs> they have disconnect and boredom <laughs> in the world. Yeah, they're ready to let this situation go. So the star... Third eye chakra and financial material changes, deception and envy. Yeah, so they might be very possessive because the word envy keep coming out, stand your ground, changes in planning and suffering silence. Yeah, so I feel like being without you, they're suffering, okay? Um, and they want to be with you. So that's, again, is a continuance of group two message. So... Let's look here. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. Universe, give me three my cards. Universe, give me three my cards. What messages do you have for Virgos? So there is networker, father. Then there is scribe. Universe, give me my card and victim, servant. Okay, they could be a Virgo too, like Libra, Virgo 
energy. Um, this is someone who is probably a father um, or a mother. Um, they have young children, that's what I'm seeing, but not too young. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like, yeah, this is someone who might father young children, but not too young. Um, victim and servant, yeah, so I feel like in their past relationship, that relationship really had no love, okay? And I feel like in the connection that they have with you, they really see the love, they see your genuineness, okay? So let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, you know, I think I have four cards, but I don't want to just see you have four of Virgo. So there is a year from now, choosing a direction. No, wow. Universe can be in my card. Let's see. Not the right time and take action. Okay, so this is again a continuance of group two. You guys are not interested because, again, you see this person is still connected to someone, so you're just not gonna do that. So even though they're not in a real relationship, you're just not gonna be attached to somebody who's not completely separated or completely divorced or completely move out from who they're with, okay? Universe, give me a two card spread. The message I see you have for Virgos. Okay. Power of my voice and friendship. This could be someone who is a friend of yours or a co worker in the flow. When I'm in the flow, magic happens. Okay. Then there is when I'm deeply grateful for the gift of friends. My appreciation for them is endless. And power of my voice. I speak my truth and express my feelings to others with care and compassion. Okay. So that's the reading I have for you, Virgos. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfictaro at gmail.com.